Hey guys, Jotham here. So today I'm going to do a tutorial on how to get Frida Pinto's look. Now this look is taken from Flare magazine. This look is a beautiful matte lip, incredible skin, and a beautiful, subtle, simple eye. Hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so first we're going to start on the face. Now today I'm going to use three different cream products on the face to create a beautiful, sculpted, flawless look. So first I'm going to take my MAC Studio Finish Concealer in NC35, which is one shade lighter than my skin tone, and I'm going to use this to highlight my face with. So just applying it on the areas of the face which I want to bring forward. So under the eye, on the cheekbone, down the centre of the nose, centre of the forehead, chin to the brow, above the brow, and a slight amount along the jaw. Next I'm going to take a dark colour by Hourglass out of my Hourglass Illum Duo, this colour here, and I'm going to use this to contour the face. The areas I'm going to contour is under the cheek bone, the temples, and also down the side of the nose. And now I'm going to blend it out with a foundation in my shade NC42. Now I'm going to go in with some powder and set the foundation. Now I'm going to take a dark eyeshadow out of my BH Cosmetics palette, this one in particular, to emphasise the contours. And then blending these out with some more face powder. We're now going to take a lighter face powder, this is the Maybelline Fit Powder in number 210. And I'm going to use it to highlight areas of the face. And I'm using the same brush I used to contour with, just to really marry everything together. So I'm doing it on the higher upper planes of the cheeks, under the eye, down the centre of the nose, in the centre of the forehead, under the brow, on the chin. Next we're going to apply a little bit of blush, just to get the face warmed up a little. I'm going to use the same brush I used to apply my face powder with, again to just marry everything together. And then you're going to want to blend that out to the side. Using the same brush to blend, we're going to take some of this dark light grey colour through the crease. So now I'm just going to line the waterline with just a, light, a brown pencil and just very lightly and nothing too much. And then I'm just going to do a few dots along the top and blend it in. Now I'm just going to brush my brows upwards and leave them as is because Frida's brows are really natural in this look. Um, and I do apologise for my brows, because I know I have man brows, <laughs> and this is obviously a feminine tutorial, but... Sorry. <laughs> okay. So now I've got the eyes on, I'm just going to build up the colour on the cheek, because I did apply some colour before, but I'm looking now and I think I'll need some more. Okay, now I'm going to curl the eyelashes and do mascara. Okay, so now onto the real feature of the look, I'm going to do the lip. So first I'm going to apply this lip stick by Revlon. And I'm just going to do this as to stain the lips. And now I'm going to remove that. And now you can see that stain is quite significant. And now I'm going to take the matte red lipstick by Rimmel. And I'm going to use this square brush, which is actually an art brush. And I'm going to apply the colour to my lips. That's the Frida Pinto look for Flare magazine. I um, hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you guys found that helpful. And yeah, if you like me, subscribe. And if you enjoyed this, like. <laughs> See ya. Bye.